Hi, this is Stuff with Kirby. Today I'm going to be talking about the modifications that I've made to my Lulzbot TAS4 3D printer and also the enclosure that I've built for it. Some of the upgrades I've made to my Lulzbot, anything in this green is something that I've printed out and changed. I've changed the extruder mount. It's got a support here now. It doesn't wobble as much. That's helped. I've changed from the rods to an open rail system. It's a little more beefier. When the, the head moves now, it doesn't dip down near the middle of the, the build plate. It allows me to level the bed better and get more usable space. Before I was kind of just constrained to one area. So I also replaced the, the railing system on the Y axis. Uh, gets rid of the shimmy also of the build plate kind of moving around. And then it also just kind of matches the looks of the X axis. Here's it rolling. I've changed the material. When I got my printer, it came with this uh, this PET tape. And this one looks pretty good, but it says I'd take prints off, they'd start to get bubbled, or I'd rip it, I'd cut it. I have a few cuts on here. So then I had less print area. With this PEI sheet from Lulzbot, I've been using it all the time. ABS sticks perfectly now. I don't need any kind of ABS juice or anything. When I print in PLA, I don't need to uh, put down any hairspray or tape or anything. Everything just sticks perfectly, no warping. Here's a quick shot of the E3D V6 hot end. I built my enclosure following the cat guard instructions on the Lulzbot website. You see the link up here at the top. This area of the Lulzbot site has documents for everything if you need files to print something, bill of materials, or just instructions or software for your product. So I went, clicked the instruction guide at the very bottom there and it took me to this page kind of explains how to put the whole kit together I used Bill, Bill of Materials version 1.1 to put this together their instructions cover uh, everything I'm putting together they're pretty easy to follow the parts that I needed from Asumi those ended up costing me around $240 plus shipping. And the acrylic panels that they have here, I think I spent about $120 and then another $55 in shipping for those. So it's around four to $500 about, I think, to build this enclosure. But it works pretty good. You can see when it's all put together here, the door has these gaps on the top and the bottom. That wasn't sealing very good, so I was still having ABS problems. So I used some weather guard for doors that I had found at Menards. And I'll show you the package here. So here's the parts, just like a replacement sweep and it slides right into the railing there so as you see I have it here on the top and the bottom of the door now with this enclosure for my 3D printer I've been able to now print ABS without any warping or splitting it also sets an area on my counter for the printer that nothing gets in the way because it's kind of enclosed otherwise I'd probably set stuff all around it and I'd have to clean up my print space every time I wanted to use it. Thanks for watching this video. 
If you have any suggestions for future videos, just let me know in the comments.